Right, hello, 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 and welcome back to another one of my coin hunt videos. Today, in this episode of Come Find With Me, we have Katie Jones Coins. Hi. Nice to see you, <laughs> and thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. That's all nice right. Nice to be here. Ha <laughs> brilliant. Uh, I didn't have enough time at the moment to do a whole load of takeover videos. I didn't have enough time to join you. So here we are, this, this what bought, you know, born this idea of this and here we are today doing it it's a good idea social distanced uh coin hunts yeah we don't know what's around the corner we could have a, more lockdowns on the way we just i know scotland's just had a wee bit of a shutdown in central belt so yeah yes it's not too bad here at the moment but you never know yeah so on to the entertainment and onto the coins i hear south end and recently was given away as a prize <laughs> on calipax yeah, I've heard about that. Uh, did anyone win? Has anyone claimed it? Well, I, I, I spent a fortune on a premium rate phone number and I never won it. Yeah, so that's a shame. Yeah. I wasn't included though, so you know, it doesn't matter. Ah, well, there you are. I also hear that you and your sister like doing t chipmunk impressions on your videos. Yeah. Um, it's, <laughs> it seems to have ever hit, basically, it come about because obviously when me and Becca are filming together we have conversations and there's some stuff I want to keep in but it's too long so I just like obviously sped it up and thus the chipmunks were born yeah <laughs> it's a nice little novelty I had a wee laugh when I saw it yeah it's just something a little different and I, yeah like it See, it's kind of stuck at, now at first I thought you had like a wee problem with like a helium canister <laughs> and you were kind of addicted to the stuff or something and you're just like buzzing away and behind the scenes like tell everyone <laughs> oh, yeah. so also we like i said we met at the mint yep uh, i met a few people for the first time at the mint last time there was yourself it was jamesy it was uh trev and matt from coins and more uk uh how was that for you it was quite good it was good i was really nervous about meeting everybody i mean i'd met grossy uh trev and christopher beforehand mm -hmm. Uh, so it wasn't too bad, but then I think as we pulled up and we got out of the car and everyone was there, it was just kind of normal. Yeah. It was like, because I talked to everybody quite often anyway. So, yeah, it was just like meeting up with old friends, I suppose. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was, it was yeah. good. It was it was a good weekend. And we can't forget Grossy as well. I forgot to mention his name. He was there. Met him for the first time too. Yeah, a little grossy. Yeah. Oh, he's tall, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's not, he's, not, he's not actually little. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, another thing. Is your phone powered by nuclear fission? <laughs> See, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Possibly. Oh, just a wee joke that we have between us, eh? Yeah. I, I reckon maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Um, also, which team are you? Team Tower? Team Sherlock or Team Cathedral? Team Tower. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh well, so anyway, enough of that. Let's get the bag of coins. So here we have a Voltex bag. We've been get, I've been getting a batch of Voltex bags for a change from Olympic Bank, which is new for me. So ideally, hopefully, it has a, an Olympic coin in there. Now, let's have a look at the book. I'm hoping your luck kind of uh, spins off on here because you were very fortunate to have uh, an IFC in your possession at one point. Yeah, I um, yeah. <laughs> the twenty the twenty eleven shield is actually in my hands. I got sent a screenshot of it, and <laughs> I have no excuses. I just oh. I wasn't wasn't paying attention. Ah um, oh, well. Well, hopefully your rock comes off and rubs off here. I'm still looking for a Kew Garden, so try and channel that. Also, like Olympic Bank, get the energies for that. I need aquatics, badminton, basketball, boxing. I was about to say canoodling, but it's canoeing. <laughs> uh, Olympic fencing. Canoodling. Olympic canoodling, yeah. <laughs> fencing, gymnastics, uh, pentathlon. I need one for my other book, so I need two mm -hmm. there. Table tennis, Olympic tennis, volleyball, and also, ideally, I would like another triathlon. Even though I've got one for the book, I need one. For a book like oh, this. Oh, yeah, for that one. Yes. Well, now's probably not a good time to tell you that I have not found a single Olympic in my hunts. So. Oh. <laughs> that could change. 
let's let's let it be tonight to change is that okay i believe, so, I believe. <laughs> nice one so i'm going to say hello to the scissors and lisa and felix would you like to say hello to the scissors hello scissors hello i'm honored <laughs> to be in your presence nice so i'm going to open the bag and count the bags while you okay. say hello to anyone you want to say hello to well, obviously, I'll say hello to my boys, my Jerry, Jerry and Loki. Put Jerry up there on the cushions. Loki's behind me. He'll probably end up attacking my feet at some stage. But, yeah, just say hello to my boys. Nice one. So there we go. Well, I'll open the bag and talk about the coins. We're not looking for 2008 Britannias because I've got one. And I, I feel that they're, they're, they're all right, but there's a lot out there still to get. Um, I'm more after the shields. There's 2017 for the, the low mintage. There's also the NIFCs, as mentioned before. We've got 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, and 20. We can't let Bungle have all of them, can we? So let's find us all. Yeah, that was a good find, wasn't it? It was. It was peachy. <laughs> uh, there's my first one. I'm glad it never showed this side first. Oh, can you imagine if that was the first coin the other yeah. way up? Yeah. There's uh, Commonwealth Games Glasgow. So what I'll do is I'll check all the shields at the end of the video uh, while we start answering some questions. So Katie, what's it like mm -hmm. being Katie Jones Coins? <laughs> um, I don't know really. It's just, I could, it kind of just feels like I'm just myself. And when I'm sitting there and people are coming in on my videos and stuff and they're like, oh, Katie, like, Oh, I love this. It's really good. Whatever things like that. I'm just like, oh my god, people like me. Like, mm -hmm. I've always been one of them people that I don't know. I can't, I can't explain it really. But I've always just been a bit weird. But like when we were at the mint and Neve and Nick were there and they were like, oh, you, you're Katie Jones coins. I was like, yeah, that's me. I was just like, oh my god, somebody recognises me. Like, <laughs> it's just bizarre. It's, really it's good. It's good. Yeah, it is. But it's nice. Yeah, because people actually want to watch what I'm doing and makes it worthwhile, I suppose. But yeah, it's good. I like it. Oh, what a fight we have there. TOG. Notorious. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's nice when you. I went to the mint for the first time. I was. Uh, Gordon was the one that met me for the first time. I was just awestruck by how nice he was to me he was generous and uh, we had other people as well coming around uh, wanting a selfie I, I was just struck because i i've never had anything like that before yeah, yeah. no i haven't either so it's yeah. just, it was just bizarre for people to be like oh it's katie <laughs> oh people are happy to meet me it's yeah weird it's good yeah, it's i good. like it it's great so tell me something really exciting about where you stay because where i stay Nobody does anything. There's nowhere to visit, nothing to see. Um. Okay. Well, so you know, obviously, I'm in South End, and what's all some good facts about South End? We have the longest pleasure pier in the world, South End Pier. It's like a mile and a bit long. I don't, I don't know. I'll let you into a secret. I've been to South End once in my life when I've stayed in Essex, and you're right. Yeah. It's got the longest pier in the world. But that's all I know as well. Um, what else? Uh, there, there was an amusement arcade, I remember. Yeah, there's arcades. You've obviously got the whole seafront arcades, you've got the beach. I live about two minutes away from it all. <laughs> um, got a theme park, Adventure Island. Ooh, sounds fun. Um, down the high street, we have like the light switch on and stuff. Like, you get the Z list celebrities come down and do it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we, we had uh, <laughs> Professor Green. Oh, yeah. Ours. yeah, he came to ours a few years ago. Right. And then, uh, what was it last year? Who's it last year? It was a guy from Catchphrase, Steve, Steve Mulhern. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 So I, I, I can't even remember who the people that have done ours just said that. <laughs> um, what's your best coin find recently? Or, you know, this week, recently, last month? Just whenever. Um, The last best the last best coin I've probably found. Um, it's probably the Flopsy Bunny that I found in one of my videos. Because I've not really, yeah, I've not really had 
a lot of money to go through. So like coins and stuff, I haven't had haven't had it in my hands to be able to do so. <laughs> nice. So yeah, it was probably probably my flopsy. Ah, uh, more, more hunts will come. Yeah. Um, we've got to the part of the video where it's Felix's question, and Felix okay. would like to know. Now that you've uh, surrendered your rights by agreeing to do this video, you've surrendered all your rights to your new sovereign, Felix the Overlord. Have mm-hmm. you, of course, you've got uh, Loki, is it Jerry and Loki? Yep. They're going to join his uh, army government, New World Order. Do you have <laughs> any other pets that are going to join up as well? No, I don't, unfortunately. I've just wow. got these two. But they're, they're, more more than, than, they're more than happy to join them. Oh, yeah, 100%. Take it over the world and uh, enslaving humanity. Yeah. I mean, he's not called Loki for a reason. So. Mm, do you think Tom Kitten will be their new god? Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever nearly swallowed a sixpence while eating a Christmas pudding? Because <laughs> I have, and I'm an idiot. No, I've never had a sixpence in an, a Christmas pudding, unfortunately. <laughs> People are slacking around here. So, oh, look, oh, speak of the devil. Our, our new Lord and Saviour. Do you imagine the Last Supper, and that's in the middle of it all? <laughs> Oops. Oops, we're doomed. We're doomed. <laughs> oh, 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 another there's one. Another one. There's oh, another. Cats are taking over. Oh dear. Do you actually have a favourite cake? Ooh. Carrot cake. I love yeah. carrot cake. Oh, good choice. Oh. I like carrot cake. I like all sorts of cake. Cake's my weakness. <laughs> all the cake. <laughs> it's my favourite, like, sweet treat. So. Mm. Yeah, that sounds good. Right. Cake. Mm. Ah, so, which is actually better out the two of them? A rice pudding or a custard? Oh, I see, I like both. Yeah. But can we agree marzipan is evil? No. no. I like marzipan. So I'm alone in that venture. Yeah. Right. Well, no, I think oh. I think rice pudding. Rice pudding beats custard. Big dollar for jam in the middle. Beautiful. That does sound good. That does sound good. But the, the last guest, he was talking about sticky toffee pudding with custard. You know, and it's like dinner lady custard as well. Oh, see, it's a, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Yeah, it is. So, well, no, I think rice pudding. Okay, rice pudding. That sounds good. I used to have rice pudding on a cake. Which is a bit carby, but hey, it's my body. <laughs> um, what? I know. I used to have warm rice pudding on a cake. Oh. Cho- hot chocolate cake. You do it with oh. custard as well. You can swap them over. It's quite mad. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, right now. <laughs> Who or what inspired you to start your own coin channel? Well, obviously you lot, because like I watch, watch a lot, a lot of coin videos. Um, but it was actually laughter, laughter, laughter that um, encouraged me to post a video. He like he sent me some coins that I could open and add into my collection. And yeah, it was just kind of I'll send you these. You do a video on it. So yeah, he said like obviously there's a gap in the market for females to be doing it as well. So quite yeah, right. blame laughter. <laughs> Blame laughter. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the question that's of all questions. You can mm. invite three people from Coins to round to dinner in a come down with me style event. Who would you invite round? Oh. Now, it doesn't have well, to be real I... life people, it could be cartoons or anybody else on Coin. Um. Well, I, do you know what? I would want the Queen round. I want the Queen to come cook me dinner. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would be quite cool. Get the Queen round. Um, That's one down. Two more to go. Who's filling up the seats? I reckon Tom Kitten. <laughs> that would be quite good. Little Tom, nice. Get a little Tom Kitten in there. You've got to have the cat, really. Yeah. Oh, third. Getting here to come round for his lunch. <laughs> Look at his little face, though. I yeah. Like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, who else? Who else? 
Oh, I don't know. We don't know. Right. Can, I'll, can I'll let you off that? with that. We could come back to that. But you've got to answer me this one question. Which okay. of the coin tubers would you want to narrate this Come Dine With Me episode? Oh, you. You hate me? Without a doubt. Yeah. Oh, thank you very I just, much. I just, I, I like your reactions to things. I'm really <laughs> quite, quite funny to, yeah, to have you commenting on what's happening. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try can. not. I'll try not be too risque or <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. But no. I'm honoured. Thank you. Yeah, definitely you. Ah, so what is the strangest coin or banknote that you've ever encountered? It doesn't have to be recently. It could be from when you were young or. Um, got to be. Uh, it's one of my dad's ones because I've got my dad's whole collection here at the moment. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's an Irish sixpence, I believe. And I don't know what's happened to it, but it's, it just looks like it's been filed down on the sides. So it's just it's a really weird shape. And it wasn't until I like tried to look it up and I realised it was actually meant to be round. <laughs> but yeah, it's just it's bizarre. Like I've not really seen a lot of old Irish coins anyway. And then to see one and there's a weird I'll try and find a picture at some stage. But yeah, I just thought it was pretty bizarre. It's pretty well, it's, cool, I like it. It's quite funny that you say Irish, because uh, I have found that uh, an Irish coin this week. First off, I'll show this one, there's Roger Bannister. Roger the Bannister. <laughs> and uh, I'll just finish off this pile and I'll show you what I found. Mm. Yeah, not too exciting, but I found it in the change machine when I was throwing coins back into the system. Ooh. Yeah. Is that half half pin gin? Yeah, look at the wee pin piglets. Pin? They're <laughs> quite cute, actually. Isn't yeah, it? 1937. Just sitting there. Oh. Nice. That's fine. All gone. <laughs> Nice. Do you have any coin collecting regrets? Because mine is I bought some silver coins and then they like worth less than half the price of what they were when I bought them. Oh no. Yeah, that happens. Ah. I think they meant too many of them. Possibly, yeah. There's quite yeah. a few. A few of them yeah. are like, yeah, very high. Um, I don't know if it's really a regret as such. But it's kind of something I think back on. I'm like, oh, because I used to work in a cash office, and they were like 50p's were one of the main ones that we were constantly counting and handling and stuff. And I just think I could have had a few gardens in my hands and just not known about it. Like, <laughs> oh, I've done that before. I've actually given them out like candy. And there we go. We've got the emoji out. Get the heroic axe out. Yeah. <laughs> Becca loves that. Every time it's mentioned, I text her. I'm like, oh, Becca, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> nice. so, yeah, so. For me, yeah, it's the silvers. I had, uh, I bought a couple of the silvers. They were, I think they were just too high a mintage. I think what I'll do, I'll, I'll keep one and maybe use one as a giveaway when I get to the magic 5,000 subs or something, <laughs> if I ever get that far up. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Uh, a long way up the food chain yet. Yeah. <laughs> 2,000 uh, next though, isn't it? Uh, 2,000, not far off it. There's still a while to go, though, but never say never. You'll get there. So, is there anything during lockdown that you've tried for the first time? Or, if you're a key worker, then did you finally catch up with that TV series you've been meaning to see for the last four years? Well, I'm not a key worker. I was off for a few months um, because of my asthma. Woohoo. Um, but does, does starting my channel count? Yeah, that, count, that counts, yeah. Of course it does. Yeah? Ah, oh, well, yeah. I started, started up my channel, doing my videos and stuff. Um, Any videos? TV. Yeah. Any so videos was... you've watched for the last four years or something that you've been needing to watch or...? Any of my videos that I've published are in that list? or I will watch all your videos. I'm good. <laughs> nice I, only have no, I only have notifications on for a few people, and you're one of them. So. Oh, bless you. Trade, trade secrets. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, I, I do this thing where I sit down, and I'm like, right, I'm going to watch this series. 
like Prison Break, for example. Yeah. Started watching it. I probably get to about the middle of season two, and then I just lose interest. And it's just like I've tried so many times to just start watching it and actually finish it, but it never happened. <laughs> so. Drips and traps. Drips and traps. You'll get there. Yeah. I mean, I watched The Witcher on Netflix. That was very good. Ah, I've not seen that myself personally. I recommend it. It's very good. Nice. So, uh, have you ever had any evidence? <laughs> In which sense? <laughs> well, for coins. I do it yeah. all the time. I, all the I time. say it all the time. I do it all the time. Well, yeah. I buy. Unless you're willing to admit to a crime you've committed should. live on YouTube, do you think? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I was hoping for that scoop, that exclusive, something that will boost the channel. <laughs> um, nah. No, I mean, I've only flashed my address a few times, but no. Nah. Nah, well. I'm quite good, good at hiding. I buy more coins than I probably should, so. Mm -hmm. The envelopes come into my room and then... That's the last you see of them. <laughs> <laughs> You've probably got a shredder under the bed. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> there we go. That's that Team so Tower. That's, that's one all now. Mm -hmm. So how do you sleep at night? Being a member of Team Tower and all that, how do you sleep at night? <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not very well. Not very well. Uh, now, we're coming up to the second last bag here. Is there anyone's channel you would love to promote? It can't be yours and it can't be mine. Uh, Angel. So, uh, Coin Collector's Journey. I think she she's great. She's literally like one of the nicest people I've ever met. And she puts so much effort into her videos. And she does like, well, she covers subjects that not everybody does. So, like, obviously she was at the mint as well and she's done a video um about the disability access and stuff like that so i think yeah. that's quite interesting it's not really something i've seen and um yeah she likes euros and things so it's just different yeah. does her streams on a friday but no angel's lovely she's oh oh 2011 what's yes. that what is that indeed shall we find oh. out yeah it's handball nice brilliant I, so we I found was... an olympic <laughs> i haven't even found any myself <laughs> <laughs> i'll agree with you about uh, coin collector's journey i've watched her live stream for 10 minutes that's all i could watch her because i had to dash off out but, yeah um, yeah uh, i've spoken to her on the discord server and uh, good laugh yeah she's lovely she's funny she yeah. comes out with a lot of one-liners as well she just cracks me up she's great yeah, you just missed oh, yeah. that. That was Team Tower, so you're losing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't win them all. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. <laughs> Defeatist attitude is that. <laughs> so, what Christopher says, isn't it? <laughs> well, um, what can I say? We found a TOG, we found Team Tower 2, Team Cathedral 1, mm. Team Sherlock is the ultimate loser with four, along with Brexit. Oh. Well, well, we all lose when it comes to breakfast. Breakfast? Breakfast. <laughs> yeah. It's rubbing up on you. Yeah, we all, we all lose. Uh, no Jeremy Fisher, so I can't complete that set. Um, but for me, those two are the finds of this hunt. Not bad. Not bad. I need nice. both from my book. Nice. Nice. So what I'll do, I'll do my usual thumbnail bit here. I'll have coins on here, and I'll pop your wee logo on this side, just to show okay. you found them. So... Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to dash off. I'm going to check the tub for some NIFC magic or some low mintage 2017 tasty goodness. Then I'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> so that's me back. Hands are all nice and clean. I checked the tub for NIFCs and low mintage shields. And we found one of these ones. Nothing exciting, just a 2017 shield. So yeah, I was having a wee chat with Katie and Loki turned up. How's Loki? good it's just it's, it's gone back behind me i'm not sure what he's trying to do to be honest but uh -huh. what are you doing there we go <laughs> yeah. so there's my three good finds 2017 shield olympic handball and notorious tog 
Don't forget, I have a Discord server. I have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all the rest of that palaver. Uh, you do too, Katie, don't you? You've got Instagram. Yes, I'm on Instagram. I've got a Facebook page. Yeah. Um, and a YouTube yes. channel, which I'll link up here in the corner. Yeah, yeah I do a YouTube as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So thanks very much, Katie, for turning up on the channel. And say thanks to Loki as well for making a guest cameo. Oh, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's all right. Anytime. Um, appreciate oh, you, you answering him. all these questions. Oh, is he there? Oh, okay, I, see see the, I see the eyes. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Loki, you look demonic. Like. Look at him. <laughs> oh, bless him. So oh, anyway, dear. that's me. I hope you're, if you're having a hunt, have a happy, happy one. Uh, don't forget, check your change channel now. Do you have any catchphrases? No, I just want to go, bye. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. see you later. And thanks again. See you later. So that's me back. My hands are all lovely and clean again. And we had a wee break through the tub. I was chatting to Katie in the background about Loki. Uh, Loki's just knocked at the camera. <laughs> Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Oh, look at that. <laughs>